Bacteriophage, Wikipedia article audio. A bacteriophage, also known informally as a phage, is a virus that infects and replicates within bacteria and archaea. The term was derived from bacteria and the Greek, pha, e, to devour. Bacteriophages are composed of proteins that encapsulate a DNA or RNA genome, and may have relatively simple or elaborate structures. Their genomes may encode as few as four genes, and as many as hundreds of genes. Phages replicate within the bacterium following the injection of their genome into its cytoplasm. Bacteriophages are among the most common and diverse entities in the biosphere. Bacteriophages are ubiquitous viruses, found wherever bacteria exist. It is estimated there are more than 1031 bacteriophages on the planet, more than every other organism on Earth, including bacteria, combined. Phages are widely distributed in locations populated by bacterial hosts, such as soil or the intestines of animals. One of the densest natural sources for phages and other viruses is seawater, where up to 9 times 10 8 virions per milliliter have been found in microbial mets at the surface, and up to 70% of marine bacteria may be infected by phages. They have been used for over 90 years as an alternative to antibiotics in the former Soviet Union and Central Europe, as well as in France. They are seen as a possible therapy against multi-drug resistant strains of many bacteria. Nevertheless, phages of Anoviridae have been shown to complicate biofilms involved in pneumonia and cystic fibrosis and shelter the bacteria from drugs meant to eradicate disease and promote persistent infection. Classification History Bacteriophages occur abundantly in the biosphere, with different virions, genomes, and lifestyles. Phages are classified by the International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses according to morphology and nucleic acid. Nineteen families are currently recognized by the ICTV that infect bacteria and archaea. Of these, only two families have RNA genomes, and only five families are enveloped. Of the viral families with DNA genomes, only two have single-stranded genomes. Eight of the viral families with DNA genomes have circular genomes while nine have linear genomes. Nine families infect bacteria only, nine infect archaea only, and one infects both bacteria and archaea. In 1896, Ernest Hanbury Hankin reported that something in the waters of the Ganges and Yamuna rivers in India had marked antibacterial action against cholera and could pass through a very fine porcelain filter. In 1915, British bacteriologist Frederick Twert, superintendent of the Brown Institution of London, discovered a small agent that infected and killed bacteria. He believed the agent must be one of the following. Twert's work was interrupted by the onset of World War I and shortage of funding. Independently, French-Canadian microbiologist Félix de Harel, working at the Pasteur Institute in Paris, announced on September 3, 1917, that he had discovered an invisible, antagonistic microbe of the dysentery bacillus. For de Harel, there was no question as to the nature of his discovery, in a flash I had understood, what caused my clear spots was in fact an invisible microbe, a virus parasitic on bacteria. D. Harrell called the virus a bacteriophage or bacteria eater. He also recorded a dramatic account of a man suffering from dysentery who was restored to good health by the bacteriophages. It was D. Harrell who conducted much research into bacteriophages and introduced the concept of phage therapy.
In 1969, Max Delbruck, Alfred Hershey and Salvador Luria were awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their discoveries of the replication of viruses and their genetic structure. Phage Therapy Phages were discovered to be antibacterial agents and were used in the former Soviet Republic of Georgia and the United States during the 1920s and 1930s for treating bacterial infections. They had widespread use, including treatment of soldiers in the Red Army. However, they were abandoned for general use in the West for several reasons. Their use has continued since the end of the Cold War in Georgia and elsewhere in Central and Eastern Europe. The first regulated, randomized, double-blind clinical trial was reported in the Journal of Wound Care in June 2009, which evaluated the safety and efficacy of a bacteriophage cocktail to treat infected venous leg ulcers in human patients. The FDA approved the study as a Phase I clinical trial. The study's results demonstrated the safety of therapeutic application of bacteriophages but did not show efficacy. The authors explain that the use of certain chemicals that are part of standard wound care may have interfered with bacteriophage viability. Another controlled clinical trial in Western Europe was reported shortly after in the journal Clinical Otolaryngology in August 2009. The study concludes that bacteriophage preparations were safe and effective for treatment of chronic ear infections in humans. Additionally, there have been numerous animal and other experimental clinical trials evaluating the efficacy of bacteriophages for various diseases such as infected burns and wounds, and cystic fibrosis-associated lung infections, among others. Meanwhile, bacteriophage researchers are developing engineered viruses to overcome antibiotic resistance, and engineering the phage genes responsible for coating enzymes which degrade the biofilm matrix phage structural proteins and also enzymes responsible for lysis of bacterial cell wall. There have been results showing that T4 phages that are small in size and short-tailed can be helpful in detecting E. coli in the human body. Replication D. Harrell quickly learned that bacteriophages are found wherever bacteria thrive, in sewers, in rivers that catch waste runoff from pipes, and in the stools of convalescent patients. This includes rivers traditionally thought to have healing powers, including India's Ganges River. Bacteriophages may have a lytic cycle or a lysogenic cycle, and a few viruses are capable of carrying out both. With lytic phages such as the T4 phage, Bacterial cells are broken open and destroyed after immediate replication of the virion. As soon as the cell is destroyed, the phage progeny can find new hosts to infect. Lytic phages are more suitable for phage therapy. Some lytic phages undergo a phenomenon known as lysis inhibition, where completed phage progeny will not immediately lyse out of the cell if extracellular phage concentrations are high. This mechanism is not identical to that of temperate phage going dormant and is usually temporary. In contrast, the lysogenic cycle does not result in immediate lysing of the host cell. Those phages able to undergo lysogeny are known as temperate phages. Their viral genome will integrate with host DNA and replicate along with it relatively harmlessly, or may even become established as a plasmid. The virus remains dormant until host conditions deteriorate, perhaps due to depletion of nutrients, then, the endogenous phages become active. At this point they initiate the reproductive cycle, resulting in lysis of the host cell. As the lysogenic cycle allows the host cell to continue to survive and reproduce, the virus is replicated in all of the cell's offspring. 
An example of a bacteriophage known to follow the lysogenic cycle and the lytic cycle is the phage lambda of E. coli. Attachment and Penetration Sometimes prophages may provide benefits to the host bacterium while they are dormant by adding new functions to the bacterial genome in a phenomenon called lysogenic conversion. Examples are the conversion of harmless strains of Corynebacterium diphtheriae or Vibrio cholerae by bacteriophages to highly virulent ones, which cause diphtheria or cholera, respectively. Strategies to combat certain bacterial infections by targeting these toxin-encoding prophages have been proposed. Synthesis of Proteins and Nucleic Acid To enter a host cell, bacteriophages attach to specific receptors on the surface of bacteria, including lipopolysaccharides, tychoic acids, proteins, or even flagella. This specificity means a bacteriophage can infect only certain bacteria-bearing receptors to which they can bind, which in turn determines the phage's host range. Host growth conditions also influence the ability of the phage to attach and invade them. As phage virions do not move independently, they must rely on random encounters with the right receptors when in solution. Virion Assembly Myovirus bacteriophages use a hypodermic syringe-like motion to inject their genetic material into the cell. After making contact with the appropriate receptor, the tail fibers flex to bring the base plate closer to the surface of the cell, this is known as reversible binding. Once attached completely, irreversible binding is initiated and the tail contracts possibly with the help of ADP present in the tail, injecting genetic material through the bacterial membrane. Podoviruses lack an elongated tail sheath similar to that of a myovirus, so they instead use their small, tooth-like tail fibers enzymatically to degrade a portion of the cell membrane before inserting their genetic material. Within minutes, Bacterial ribosomes start translating viral mRNA into protein. For RNA-based phages, RNA replicase is synthesized early in the process. Proteins modify the bacterial RNA polymerase so it preferentially transcribes viral mRNA. The host's normal synthesis of proteins and nucleic acids is disrupted and it is forced to manufacture viral products instead. These products go on to become part of new virions within the cell, helper proteins that help assemble the new virions, or proteins involved in cell lysis. Walter Fears was the first to establish the complete nucleotide sequence of a gene and of the viral genome of bacteriophage MS2. Release of Virions in the case of the T4 phage, the construction of new virus particles involves the assistance of helper proteins. The base plates are assembled first, with the tails being built upon them afterward. The head capsids, constructed separately, will spontaneously assemble with the tails. The DNA is packed efficiently within the heads. The whole process takes about 15 minutes. Phages may be released via cell lysis, by extrusion, or, in a few cases, by budding. Lysis, by tailed phages, is achieved by an enzyme called endolysin, which attacks and breaks down the cell wall peptidoglycan. An altogether different phage type, the filamentous phages, make the host cell continually secrete new virus particles. Released virions are described as free, and, unless defective, are capable of infecting a new bacterium. Budding is associated with certain mycoplasma phages. In contrast to virion release, phages displaying a lysogenic cycle do not kill the host but, rather, become long-term residents as prophage.
Given the millions of different phages in the environment, phages genomes come in a variety of forms and sizes. RNA phage such as MS2 have the smallest genomes of only a few kilobases. However, some DNA phages such as T4 may have large genomes with hundreds of genes, the size and shape of the capsid varies along with the size of the genome. Bacteriophage genomes can be highly mosaic, i.e. the genome of many phage species appear to be composed of numerous individual modules. These modules may be found in other phage species in different arrangements. Mycobacteriophages Bacteriophages with mycobacterial hosts have provided excellent examples of this mosaicism. In these mycobacteriophages, Genetic assortment may be the result of repeated instances of site-specific recombination and illegitimate recombination. Evolutionary mechanisms shaping the genomes of bacterial viruses vary between different families and depend on the type of the nucleic acid, characteristics of the virion structure, as well as the mode of the viral life cycle. Phages often have dramatic effects on their hosts. As a consequence, the transcription pattern of the infected bacterium may change considerably. For instance, infection of Pseudomonas aeruginosa by the temperate phage PAP3 changed the expression of 38% of its host's genes. Many of these effects are probably indirect, hence the challenge becomes to identify the direct interactions among bacteria and phage. Genome Structure Several attempts have been made to map protein-protein interactions among phage and their host. For instance, bacteriophage lambda was found to interact with its host E. coli by 31 interactions. However, a large-scale study revealed 62 interactions, most of which were new. Again, the significance of many of these interactions remains unclear, but these studies suggest that there are most likely several key interactions and many indirect interactions whose role remains uncharacterized. Systems Biology Metagenomics has allowed the in-water detection of bacteriophages that was not possible previously. Medical trials were carried out but a basic lack of understanding of phages made these invalid, antibiotics were discovered and marketed widely. They were easier to make, store and to prescribe, former Soviet research continued, but publications were mainly in Russian or Georgian languages and were unavailable internationally for many years. Bacteriophages have also been used in hydrological tracing and modeling in river systems, especially where surface water and groundwater interactions occur. The use of phages is preferred to the more conventional dye marker because they are significantly less absorbed when passing through groundwaters and they are readily detected at very low concentrations. Non-polluted water may contain Ca2 times 108 bacteriophages per mil. Bacteriophages are thought to extensively contribute to horizontal gene transfer in natural environments, principally via transduction but also via transformation. Metagenomics-based studies have also revealed that virums from a variety of environments harbor antibiotic resistance genes including those that could confer multi-drug resistance. Since 2006, the United States Food and Drug Administration and United States Department of Agriculture have approved several bacteriophage products. LMP-102 was approved for treating ready-to-eat poultry and meat products. In that same year, the FDA approved Listex using bacteriophages on cheese to kill Listeria monocytogens bacteria, giving them generally recognized as safe status. In July 2007, the same bacteriophage were approved for use on all food products. 
In 2011 USDA confirmed that Listex is a clean label processing aid and is included in USDA. Research in the field of food safety is continuing to see if lytic phages are a viable option to control other foodborne pathogens in various food products. In the environment Other areas of use In the dairy industry Model bacteria phages in 2011 the FDA cleared the first bacteriophage-based product for in vitro diagnostic use. The KeyPath MRSA-MSSA blood culture test uses a cocktail of bacteriophage to detect Staphylococcus aureus in positive blood cultures and determine methicillin resistance or susceptibility. The test returns results in about 5 hours compared to 2-3 days for standard microbial identification and susceptibility test methods. It was the first accelerated antibiotic susceptibility test approved by the FDA. Government agencies in the West have for several years been looking to Georgia and the former Soviet Union for help with exploiting phages for counteracting bioweapons and toxins, such as anthrax and botulism. Developments are continuing among research groups in the U.S. Other uses include spray application in horticulture for protecting plants and vegetable produce from decay and the spread of bacterial disease. Other applications for bacteriophages are as biocides for environmental surfaces, e.g., in hospitals, and as preventative treatments for catheters and medical devices before use in clinical settings. The technology for phages to be applied to dry surfaces, e.g., uniforms, curtains, or even sutures for surgery now exists. Clinical trials reported in clinical otolaryngology show success in veterinary treatment of pet dogs with otitis. Phage display is a different use of phages involving a library of phages with a variable peptide linked to a surface protein. Each phage's genome encodes the variant of the protein displayed on its surface, providing a link between the peptide variant and its encoding gene. Variant phages from the library can be selected through their binding affinity to an immobilized molecule to neutralize it. The bound, selected phages can be multiplied by reinfecting a susceptible bacterial strain thus allowing them to retrieve the peptides encoded in them for further study. The septic bacterium sensing and identification method uses the ion emission and its dynamics during phage infection and offers high specificity and speed for detection. Phage ligand technology makes use of proteins, which are identified from bacteriophages characterized and recombinantly expressed for various applications such as binding of bacteria and bacterial components and lysis of bacteria. Bacteriophages are also important model organisms for studying principles of evolution and ecology. Bacteriophages present in the environment can cause fermentation failures of cheese starter cultures. In order to avoid this, Mixed strain starter cultures and culture rotation regimes can be used. The following bacteriophages are extensively studied. <laughs>